UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC, DC. And if anyone is well-equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away, because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, here's the heavyweight wrestler, Curtis Razor Blades, representing Team Elevation there in Colorado. And here's a guy who, at least on paper, has more takedowns secured offensively than any fighter in UFC heavyweight history. You know, they talk about specialists. And at times, you find a guy that's so good at one skill that you know what's coming and you can't stop it. Curtis Blades is one of those guys. He's a national wrestling champion. He's very big. He's very skilled, and he has great cardio. The great cardio allows him to press this wrestling style on guys, and they can't keep up with him. He is solely one of the top five heavyweights in the world. And he's certainly got a good work rate for this heavyweight division. Works as hard in training as anybody. Still in search of that elusive first championship opportunity. Big spot for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 29. The Brazilian is 31. Blades weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu jitsu fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Just make it official. Ready. So here we go with round one. Of course, a few guys in this division can grapple as effectively as he can, but maybe some pause tonight given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grappling in reverse to stay upright because the Jiu-Jitsu fighter is such a great fighter. He's such a fantastic fighter. He's so skilled. He's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it. That standing may be this grappler's best chance to win the fight. Nice punch land over the top. A single collar tie. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, a little 
single collar tie there. Oh, stuff the tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Let's see Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Close guard. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him off. Attempting an arm bar here. You got to be careful, arm bar. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Curtis Blades. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Blades. Down into his mouth. Under a minute now to go. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, single collar tie here. Left hand punch in the clinch. Beautiful kick. All right, he engages in a that single collar tie shot. here, folks. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, elbow to the head there. By the hip toss Blades. as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. <laughs> 10 seconds to go. Yeah, Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Five minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, looking good, looking good. Breathe, yeah, yeah, breathe. You got that one. That was beautiful. Nice. Okay. All right, no telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. For yeah, you. where's my telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head 
as his opponent was attacking. But then when his opponent tried to string combinations together. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tech arm bar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. And he landed the right hand there. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. So pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Under a minute now to go. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Muay Thai Plump stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hand punch from the clinch. Stuffs the take. Nice takedown lane. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, and there's the 
horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now, watch. And he's out. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Let's go. Push, push, push. Get free. Two minutes to go in the round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's gonna try to attack. And now he falls back into the finishing position. control now and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. 
You can get to your hand, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent from the top position. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Single collar tie now. And now he engages, hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice straight punch. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's getting rid of He's gotten hurt here. Trying to stay in this fight. Blades his uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. to stun him. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch. From the Good exchange there inside. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Toss as he takes him down, now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Blades is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, he's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. 
Blades is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Found the target with that left hand. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Get yourself to the side, scramble, scramble, scramble. All right, you got one minute. Final minute. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. 15 seconds remain in the round. Ten seconds to go in round four. Blades' his pass is denied. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. Thunder trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. He'll engage in a single collar tie. And he connects with a punch there. Oh, man, look. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Blades has got the full mount. I mean, how many can he take? Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Can he take? Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Curtis Blades. All 
Hardy's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Lands with the ground and pound here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, some big punches raining down here. Picking his spots well and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he be having so much success doing it fighting? exact same manner that leads him to be ahead in the fight right now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised tonight. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, Assassin! All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some yeah. of those. Nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render this. John, scorecards. it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got your fingers crossed, you got your toes crossed, you got everything crossed, hoping that two judges saw it your way. 